What's up guys, Grim here. Sorry it's been so long since I've uploaded a video. I know I said that I was going to cover the Starfall Prophecy quite a bit more than what I have. However, whenever I got robbed, I really did not have much motivation and I had to try to go make money and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a bad deal and I apologize for not putting out videos for you guys, but here I am. We're getting back into the swing of things. Hopefully get real uh, supercharged with the Starfall Prophecy stuff. Hopefully the changes have been really good. Uh, hopefully the PvP is amazing. That's what I'm looking forward to and I'm wanting to try it out with all the legendary abilities and all that good stuff. But first, we'll probably have to start out by leveling our character quite a bit. So, uh... Uh, also, an update on those that are wondering if they caught the people that robbed me. No, no, uh, we have not caught anybody. As a matter of fact, I went and, got, uh, went and checked on the old house just to check up on it to make sure nothing had happened to it. And sure enough, somebody had broken in the window and actually raised up the window, crawled inside, and all the doors were unlocked whenever I got there. So people are continuing to destroy the things that I have. It's It's terrible. Alright, so, but on a more positive note, let's get right into the Starfall Prophecy stuff and uh, give my first impressions of the live servers. Now, mind you, I have been on the, the test servers. I've done, uh, I've recorded a lot of footage. I've actually done a recent try-on video on it. And uh, this will be my first impressions of the actual live server and uh, what all happens there. So let's let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, as you can see on the left side here, we have the plane of fire uh, stuff that is a part of the comet of Enquette, as well as the plane of life stuff on the right side. So that's pretty cool of an opening scene with, of course, this face up here at the top right. That is like something that is all throughout this expansion that I've seen. So yeah, let's go right into it. Now, I expect uh, lagginess. There's going to be a lot of people. I'm also recording, and also this is not the newest of computers, so it, it probably is going to be a bit laggy, but hopefully the footage is going to be all right. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right, so... <laughs> All right, so we're getting right into this right now. Uh, Void Drake Supply Crate. Uh, nice item. All right, let's go ahead and claim our daily reward. Now, mind you, I haven't been on a lot uh, while I was waiting for Starfall Prophecy, so my guy is uh, probably behind quite a bit here. So let's uh, go right into the teleporter and head to the Celestial Lands, if you can see it. Boom. All right, so this is the Litu. That's where we're going to be going. And then the first area we're probably going to explore is the Scatheron Forest here because that is the level 65 to 66 zone. And then we can go into the Gedlow Badlands, which is the 66 to 67 area. Now, I imagine a lot has changed since I was on the test server, so I imagine there's going to be additional NPCs, quests, all that good stuff, because there wasn't a lot going on whenever I was on the test server, so. Alright, yeah. So, right off the bat, we have a quest guy right here, Anton Corvo. Alright, got my patron status going. I, I let it run inactive a little bit while I was uh, not playing as much, but... Now it's expansion time, so got to get that patron time going, get the XP bonuses, uh, bonuses all up and running. Alright, so we got some uh, new factions here. Looks like six different ones. The Baggall Decree, the Mages of Elitu, the Saint Tyrannus, the Felboken, uh, Planar Defense Force, and uh, Thedor, uh, Thedor's. Uh, I guess that's how you say it. Spear? Yeah, six different factions that we're going to have to work up now. Ugh, man, makes me wish I would have done zone events and uh, racked up some more of these marks before we had to do this. Oh man, look at the new gear. The level 70 gear here. Alright, so we have the Celestial Breastplate and it takes uh, Celestial Remnants, which is 21,000 of them. All right, uh, let's see how good this piece of gear is. It's 250 hit. Uh, the Drowned Prophet stuff that I'm wearing right now is 175, so 
Yeah, this is quite a bit of a difference. Look at the armor difference. This blue gear here has 33,000 armor. And the, the T2 gear that I have on right now at level 65 has 18,000 armor. Uh, the stats, almost three times as many stats. Uh, my current uh, strength on my breastplate is 356, and the new gear is 950. And mind you, this is just the blue gear. So if you're thinking about not getting this expansion, oh man, you are going to not be up to par. Now I see here that the uh, rune break status of this, you have to have rune character uh, abilities up to visionary. So that's the status that you have to have your crafting at in order to uh, just break down this stuff. So yeah, new levels of crafting to say the least. Alright, another cool thing is, is I have been saving up my weekly patron gifts in order to uh, have it during the expansion. So once I hit level 70, I'm going to open these chests up and see if they give me level 70 gear and essences and all that good stuff because uh, that is the time that I'm really going to need it is once I hit max level. All right, finally found the vault here. Let's go ahead and break out some of our uh, stocked up stuff in order to get the leveling process even nicer. I've got quite a few of these transcended uh, exp experience vials. Man, I just can't talk today, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and load up on these and really try to level up really, really fast if we can. All right, in order to level up the fastest way possible, and this has worked for all past expansions as well, and it made it to where most of my leveling processes, whenever I tried to do it really fast, ended up being about a five to seven hour process in order to gain five levels in order to go up to the new level caps. Uh, for this particular one, we're going to go ahead and use a transcendent experience file as you can see right there and it's going to give us a hundred and sixty percent bonus to our experience uh... we also have some other things going for us uh... let's see here let's open up our our rift store here so that you guys can see um, i am currently at uh... not this tier yet we need to go back one so as you can see I have treasure map and it gives me also a 10% experience boost. Also I have patron time which patron time is going to give me uh, a 10% boost to experience as well. So it keeps adding up the more things that I add to it and we're going to try to do as well as we can. Uh, we're also going to put on some extra gear here. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. All right, so we also have this gear down here. Yep, there it is, uh, where I can wear these shoulders, and it's going to give me a 10% boost to my experience if I wear two pieces of gear here. Now, this is going to put me in weaker gear. I know that, but we're going to wear it in order to get the 10% experience boost because we want to level up as fast as possible, and 10% is quite a bit of experience. If you wonder where you can get that gear, you can actually get it from any of the uh, lock boxes usually. So if you're somebody that has actually gotten, uh, let's see, refer friend uh, points, let's show you guys exactly mine. Uh, they're probably going to be a lot on mine because I haven't been on in a while and everybody that has been uh, using my refer friend code has actually given me refer, pro uh, refer friend points. So right now I have 38,000 which makes it to where I can buy these Void Drake supply crates for 550 each and I can buy a lot of them in order to get uh, the items that I need because if I open up these supply crates most likely it's going to give me uh, further gear pieces that will allow me to level up uh, fast but they'll probably be level 70 variant or whatever level I am at the time actually. So that's how you get that gear. If you want to get it before you start your leveling process, all you have to do is open up some, some supply crates. Now the quests that we're going to want to do are the ones with the gold background here. And you see it's a story quest. These quests give a lot more experience than the traditional quests. So whenever I'm doing these, it's going to give me a lot more experience. With all the experience bonuses that I have going on, this is going to be a massive amount of experience. And my leveling process should uh, pretty much out-level the quests that I'm going to be on. So without further ado, let's get started. Transcendent vial down, 
And let's take our first quest, which is to escort Tassil out of Alitu. So let's go ahead and lead this guy out of here. I am more this strange comet, didn't we? Yes. I just I wasn't trying to break anything. I'm sorry. All right. So they say a lot of things in order to make this a little more interesting of a trip, I guess. Let's switch over to Reaver mode because Reaver is a very good uh, leveling spec. It allows us to do a lot of life drain and stuff like that to where it's a lot easier on us whenever we're doing this leveling process. Alright, so it's basically determining where I'm going to go uh, in order to do these quests. It already puts me in the Scatherin Forest. So let's go ahead and go up here and head into the forest and try to go to the next part of our quest. Now I'm going to be doing the quest a little bit slower than I would typically do if I was trying to power level really fast through it. Because I would like to enjoy the expansion, especially the first time through. And it probably means that uh, me listening to the quest and stuff is actually going to make my leveling process longer. Which is fine because the first time through it I want to really experience the whole process. If I level up to 70 before it's all over, I'll probably finish the quest lines anyway, just to get the real feel of the expansion and appreciate the work that has went behind it. Our first battles. Let's go ahead and join this public group. Lots of people here doing this leveling up process. Okay, we've defeated enough of these uh, planar attacks here in order to finish our quest. So we're going to go up here and talk to this uh, particular creature here. And let's see the experience that we're going to get from this. We're just going to pick whatever helm, really. We'll go ahead and pick the warrior one just for the sake of it. But in all reality, our XP helmet is what we're going to be wearing. And we're not going to change it out even though there's a much more powerful helmet here. So naturally, the experience will be 1,649,000 for a patron. Let's see how much we get. Let's change to the combat window so we see. And we got, oh my gosh, look how much experience we just got. I think that's 1 billion, or let's see here, 13,194,720 experience. Oh man. Oh man. So we just turned a 1,600,000 experience quest into a 13,194,000 quest. Yes, trust me, all these XP stacking abilities is well worth it. Make sure you're getting your patron. Make sure you're doing storyline quests. If you can, stack the other XP bonuses, such as if you have your, uh, your loyalty up in order to get treasure map, like I said, uh, from uh, this here. Let's see here. I got the orange tier, so I don't get the full uh, treasure map yet. I only get the 10%. I think on black, you get uh, yeah treasure map boost, which is 15%. Um, oh, there's even another one for 20% if you're all the way up to silver tier. So, yeah, that's even more, man. And then also the gear from the the, uh, the lock boxes. It, make sure that you're putting everything to good use. Uh, having rested experience is important as well. So, yeah, very, very cool. Oh, wow. I didn't see anything like this before. There's so many people doing questing right now that it's really hard to actually find the injured creatures that I'm supposed to be finding right now. Alright, so it makes it a lot easier. As you can see, there's a red light that leads to the things that you're needing to find. So, that is very, very cool. Wow, okay, so look how easy it is to find this stuff. Alright, one just appeared right here, and then the red light shines down. So the questing experience just got quite a bit easier, and you're not just wandering in the dark anymore a lot of the times. Alright, so the next piece that we're getting is shoulder pieces, which we cannot replace because that's another one of our XP gaining items. So let's go ahead and finish this quest for 1.6 million XP. 
Oh, you have gained three three planar attunement points. Sheesh. All right, so how much XP did we just get? Let's go ahead and scroll down. We got 13,194,000, all right. I keep having to go on these holes, man. I, see, I didn't see any of this stuff whenever I was doing the testing and stuff. I, I didn't see any of these holes in the ground. All right, so we're getting our first piece of gear that we're actually going to be able to use. It's not a lot better than my T2 gear since it is the green gear that is only level 64, but it is better nonetheless. So this is going to be pretty cool. Wow, that is so cool. Somebody had seen me log on and playing in Starfall Prophecy and actually sent me some mail. I actually joined the guild. My guild is extremely inactive right now. I was pretty much the only one on and I hadn't logged on in a long while. So pretty much everybody had left my guild and this person messaged me and said, hey, can I join the guild? I said, you probably don't want to. It's inactive. They said, we don't care. We just got back into the game. Worst case scenario, we can just leave. So after I accepted him to the guild, all of a sudden I get a mail that says, it's good to see you back making videos. Just started playing again myself, so if possible, I would like to join your guild. And he sent me 500 platinum. Thank you, what mage? I really, really appreciate it, man. All right, we have discovered the town of Felboken, and this is basically the haven of uh, Scatheron Forest. And all the creatures here are almost like warriors in themselves they talk about how they're the protectors of this town this one says that it came from uh let's see the amber throne or it was once a knight of the amber throne and he invaded the world on behalf of lord greenscale and as you can see it's just a country fox so i mean it's kind of funny that the theme is going like this and all these little squirrels up there at the top right if you can see behind is like a squirrel council and just everything here is kind of funny in itself. crashed no all right guys wolf spade is down unfortunately so i'm gonna to have to cut this episode a little bit short because of course whenever you have the launch is real fresh things are going to go bad servers are going to go down the amount of people overloading the servers may have a thing to do with it but there are tons of players exploring this new expansion and it has been a blast to see so many people messaging me and being so cool about everything and thank you for the gift it's very very cool of what mage but we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is actually on deep wood my uh, rogue is on. But I'm wanting to level up my warrior. I want to do the process through with my warrior first before I get on any of the other characters and start doing it. So we'll see you in the next episode of Leveling Up in Starfall Prophecy.